Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is another look at the Task Manager and this time around we're going to look at the Hard Disk Activity. So right click in the taskbar and go into Task Manager. You will go into Performance and here you will see Disk. So depending on how your computer is configured, your Disk 0 is the main drive that you have. For a lot of us, if not most of us, this is the only drive we have. But depending on configuration and how things go, and the type of PC you have, you might have disk zero, disk one, disk two. It's not impossible. And that means you have multiple drives. Now, one of the interesting aspects, and you know, if you've been wondering, do I have a standard hard drive or a solid state drive? The task manager now can tell you. In disk 0C here, you see I, it, mine says SSD, which is Solid State Drive. So, I've got a Solid State Drive. If yours is a regular mechanical hard drive, it's, gonna, it's just going to say HDD for Standard Hard Drive, simply. So, HDD or SSD, depending on a regular hard drive or a Solid State Drive. On the right side, you will see the disk information, disk 0, the drive letter, and then on the right side here on the top, you have the model and serial number, if you want, or model number of your hard drive. Underneath, you have, of course, active time, the activity uh, in a scale from 1 to 100%. You want to have this as low as possible because the higher the hard drive use, the slower your PC might be. And that's very important to keep this as low as possible. And if it is very high, that's where you need to go to the processes that we've talked about in previous videos and look at disk and what process is using the, um, you know, hard disk activity. Uh, hard disk activity is going to be higher on a HDD or regular standard hard drive than an SSD for a simple reason. A older uh, mechanical hard drive is slower. So any activity will actually bump or show a bump that is much higher in this um, graph than an SSD will most of the time. Underneath, you have disk transfer rates. So this tells you the read and write activity of the disk with its speeds. On the right side, you'll see how much uh, kilobits or kilobytes or megabytes or whatever, depending on the activity of the drive. If you're uh, using it heavily by, you know, or recording something really big, here it might go very, very high in the speed and the amount of uh, data being written or uh, read from the drive. Then you have active time. You have the average response time, which is in milliseconds. You have the read speed, write speed. Typical hard drives, even SSDs, are pretty much all the same in one area here is that read speed is often much faster than the write speed. This is typical of pretty much every hard drive because it is in manufacturing when uh, one of these drives, they simply go to the fact that we probably read much more than we write on our hard drives. So let's put the read speed faster than the write speed uh, because that's the way computers work in general. Then you have the capacity. Here it says 954 gigabytes, which is a one terabyte drive if you want. It says how much formatted capacity, because the capacity of your drive and the formatted capacity could be very different. Your drive might be partitioned, or it might have a separate partition that is of another aspect that Windows can't see. So it tells you how much of the capacity is formatted in what Windows can read, actually. Then you have system disk, of course, it's the C drive. And then it tells you page file system, yes. And the type is SSD. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.